Well, DSM is working in, we've got several official partnerships and those are, are extremely heavy in, in terms of, of commitment from DSM in terms of our resources. Um, with World Food Programme, for example, we've reached now in the last 10 years more than 25 million of the beneficiaries with improved nutrition. So these are just a few of the examples of how we live out our partnership commitments. Um, I would also say SDG 17, it is a goal, but for me it's actually more of a, uh, a necessary enabler for the other goals to be achieved. Without it, we can't achieve uh, what for DSM is the most important goal, which is number two, um, zero hunger. I think for us the message is really about you know many hands make light work. Um, the SDGs are extremely ambitious, they are very specific which is good, so they're measurable targets, but I believe if we're going to, to really make significant progress over the next 15 years, which is not a long time, we have to work in partnership. And my call to action is, is for all sectors to really, really look at the possibilities of working together versus the barriers of working together. Establish very strong rules of engagement so that trust can be built and impact can be created as quickly as possible. But let's really take a real go at leveraging one another's strengths to be able to create impact. Because if we stay in our silos, we will never achieve those goals. Well, I think my my biggest passion, of course, lies in nutrition. Um, so maybe I can just ho zone in on that for a second. Nutrition has a central role in the SDGs being achieved. Um, it enables most of them, and it also will be further enabled because of the rest of them. So it plays a central role, and also nutrition has the highest return on investment most of the time when you look at, uh, a social return, I mean, when you look at how to invest funding. So if nutrition is prioritized, in 15 years time from now and SDG 2 can be achieved, what we will enable is a population, an entire generation whose physical and cognitive potential can be realized and entire country GDPs will be able to go up as a result of that. That's based on hard fact. So if you consider that just for SDG 2 and nutrition, what's possible across the other SDGs is, is actually mind-blowing. It really is and it's the way we will stop degradation of the planet and start to really live in a sustainable way equal opportunities for all.